Which figure below illustrates the statement J is the midpoint of segment DK? So what they're trying to say here, which one of those figures shows that J is the midpoint of D and K? So J is in the middle or in between D and K. So we have multiple figures and the right figure is the fourth one because here is D, here is K and J is in the middle. And you may say it's the same as this one, but those lines here in between D and J, J and K shows that it is the, it's an equal part, an equal line between them. So we're going to choose the last one. What is the midpoint of the segment with endpoints 1, 9, 1, and 9, and negative 3, and 5? So first we're going to write down the midpoint formula, which is x1 plus x2 over 2, comma y1 plus y2 over 2. So the first thing we're going to do here is replace x1 and x2. So x1 is 1, so we're going to write down plus x2, which is negative 3, so 1 plus negative 3. So 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. So we're going to write it down. And now replace y1 and y2. y1 is 9, so 9 plus y2, which is 5. So 9 plus 5 is 14. So you're going to we're going to write it down and then we're going to divide it by two. You can do that before, which is easier. So negative two divided by two is negative one. So we're going to write down negative one comma and then 14 divided by two is seven. So negative one and seven. Find the midpoint of the segment with endpoints. We have negative 6 and negative 8 and 4 and 7. So again, we're going to do the same as last time. So we're going to replace x1 and x2 with the midpoint formula. So x1 is negative 7. We're going to write it down. Negative 7 plus 8, uh, negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. And then negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5. We don't have to complete the solution because here, as you can see, it's already negative 1.5 and there's not the much as the rest one. So we're going to choose. That. Which of the following is the correct midpoint formula given two endpoints? We have x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. So when you want to solve a solution that has midpoint, you need to use the midpoint formula, which helps you. So which one, which one of these are, is the correct one? And it's actually in brackets. As you can see, they're all in brackets and they're all divided by two. And it's actually x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. This formula needs to be memorized because when it comes to solving the midpoint. Find the midpoint of the line segment with the given endpoints. We have 6 and negative 6 and negative 10 and negative 10. So again, we're going to replace the midpoint formula. We're going to replace x1 with 6, so 6 plus x2, which is negative 10. We're going to write it on a calculator. So 6 plus negative 10 is negative 4, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So we're going to write down negative 2. And then y1, we're going to replace y1 with negative 6, so negative 6 plus y2, which is negative 10. 
So negative 6 plus negative 10 is negative 16. And negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. So it's in brackets, negative 2 and negative 8. What is the distance mid midpoint? We have negative 5 and 3 and 4 and negative 5. So as you can see here, here are the two midpoints. Here are, here are the two lines, sorry, and the end points. And what we want to do is find the midpoint. Now, if you have a graph, you can do that by just counting what is in between them. And you can also use the midpoint formula. So let's just use the midpoint formula just to make sure. So we're going to replace x1 with negative 5. So we're going to write down negative 5 plus x2, which is 4. So negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. And negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 0 0.5. And now we're going to do the y. So y1 is 3. We're going to write it down. 3 plus y2, which is negative 5. We're going to write it down in the calculator. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. And negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So it's negative 0 0.5 and negative 1. Find the midpoint of the line segment with the given endpoint. We have 1 and 1 and 9 and 9. So again, we're going to use the midpoint formula. So we're going to replace x1 with 1 and then x2 with 9. So 1 plus 9 is 10 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. And now we're going to replace y1 with 1 and then y2 with 9. So again, 1 plus 9 is 10 and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So it's going to be 5 and 5. What is the midpoint between negative 4 and 4 and negative 2 and 2? So again, we're going to replace x1 with negative 4 and x2 with negative 2. So negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And then we're going to replace y1 with 4 plus y2, which is 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So it's going to be negative 3 and 3. Find the midpoint of the segment with the endpoints. We have 1 and 7 and 9 and 0. So... Again, we're going to replace x1 with 1. So 1 plus x2, which is 9. And 1 plus 9 is 10. And 10 divided by 2 is, th uh, is 5. And then replace y1 with 7. And then 7 plus y2, which is 0. 7 plus 0 is 7. And 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So now we have 5 and 3.5. Find the distance between the points. We have negative 3 and negative 4 and 5 and 5. Now notice here it says the distance. It's not the midpoint. So for the distance, our formula used is d square roots in brackets x2 minus x1 power of 2 plus in brackets y2 minus y1. It's very complicated but it's very easy when it comes to solving it. So, so we're going to replace x2 so x2 with 5 
and then minus x1, which is negative 3. So in a calculator, we're going to do 5 minus negative 5. Oh, sorry, 5 minus negative 3, because here it says negative 3. It is 8. And then we're going to replace y2 with y1. So uh, we're going to replace y2 with 5, so 5 minus y1, which is negative 4, and equals, so in a calculator, we're going to do 5 minus negative 4, which is 9. And now we have 8 and 9, so we're going to times 8 by itself, so 8 times 8 is 64, and 9 times 9 is 81, so 64 plus 81, again use a calculator, and it's going to be 145, which then later we're going to be using Oh, sorry, we should do 64 minus 81. So 64 minus 81 is negative 17. So now we have 14.4. Oh. So a point that divides or bisects a segment into two congruent segment is called a so we have there is a point that divides or you can say bisects it divides a segment into two congruent segments what is it called end point midpoint congruent segment or angle bisects so again we talked about this before a point that divides a segment so when we have a line for example let's say we have this line so we have this line what is the point, what is it called when it divides the two points into equal parts? That is called the midpoint. Now we have this wrong question. We are going to do it again. Open a new paper. And now we're going to do the same as before. But we're going to use the distance formula correctly. So for the distance formula, we are going to replace we're going to replace x2 with 5. So 5 minus x1, which is negative 3. Okay, so 5. 5 minus negative 3 is 8, and we're going to replace y2 with 5, and then y1 with negative 4, so 5 minus negative 4 is 9. And now what we are going to do is we need to use scientific calculator, and we're going to multiply them by themselves so we're going to do 8 times 8 which is 64 and then 9 times 9 which is 81 and then we're going to add them to each other so 64 plus 81 is 145 And we can put it in a calculator and do square roots and then 145, which is 12. What is the midpoint between 3 and negative 1 and 7 and negative 5? So for this one, we need a new page. And what we are going to do 
is we're going to write down the midpoint formula and we are going to replace let's see what we have so we're, we are going to use the midpoint formula and we're going to replace x1 was with three so we have three plus x2 which is seven so three plus seven okay so seven um sorry three plus seven is ten so we're going to write it down and then ten divided by two is five and then we're going to use so y we're going to replace y1 with negative one so negative one plus y2 which is negative five we're going to use a calculator for this so negative one plus negative five which is negative six and negative six divided by two is negative three so we have five and negative three The middle of a line is called the midpoint, endpoint, slope, or distance. So we talked about this before. And a middle of any line is called the midpoint because number one, we're saying the middle. So middle, mid, and then the point between the two lines. So midpoint. What is the midpoint between 3 and negative 1 and 8 and negative 6? So again, we're going to use the midpoint formula. We're going to replace x1 with 3. So 3 plus and then x2, which is 8. 3, 3 plus 8 is 11. And then 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. And we don't have to complete the rest of the equation because now we have now that we have 5.5 the only one that's correct is the the last one 5.5 this one 5.5 too but this has negative and our calculation was positive what is the midpoint between 3 and negative 1 and 7 and negative 5 so again we're going to replace x1 with 3 and then 3 plus x2 which is 7 so 3 plus 7 again is 11 and 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 we're just making sure so again we're going to do it again so x1 is 3 so we're going to write 3 plus x2 which is 7 so 7 plus 3 is 10. I made a mistake. So it's 10. And 10 divided by 3 is... 10 divided by 3 is 5. So we're going to write it down. And then y1, which is negative 1, plus y2, which is negative 5. We're going to use a calculator for this. So negative 1 plus negative 5 is negative 6. And negative 6 divided... Negative 6 divided by... 2 is negative 3. So now we have 5 and negative 3. Find the midpoint of the line segment with the given endpoints. We have negative 2 and negative 6 and 8 and 8. So we're going to replace x1 with negative 2. Negative 2 plus x2, which is 8. So negative 2 plus it is 6 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then y1 we're going to replace y1 with negative 6 and neg negative 6 plus 8 which is y2 so negative 6 plus 8 is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we're going to have we, we're going to have in brackets 3 and 1 so the first one. Find the midpoint of the line segment with the given endpoints. We have 3, 9, and 5, and 9. So we're going to replace x1 with 3. 
3 plus x2, which is 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8, and then 8 divided by 2 is 4. And we're going to replace y1 with 9. 9 plus y2, so 9 plus 9. So 9 plus 9 is 18. And then 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we're going to have 4 and 9. Find the midpoint of the line segment with the endpoints. So we have negative 2 and 0 and 9 and negative 1. So by using the midpoint formula, we're going to replace negative, we're going to replace x1 with negative 2. So negative 2 plus x2, which is 9. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. And then 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. We don't have to complete the equation because it's already here, 3.5. What point is halfway between 3 and negative 1 and 8 and negative 6? So before we get into the solution, it says here what point is halfway. Now. We don't have to say what is the midpoint between two segments, but another way for midpoint is halfway. So we're going to replace now x, x1 with 3, so 3 plus x2, which is 8. So 3 plus 8 is 11, and then 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. Now we don't even have to finish with the rest of the equation because here it says 5.5. Find the midpoint of the segment with the endpoints. So we have 4 and 12 and negative 6 and 14. So we're going to replace x1 with 4 and then plus x2 which is negative 6. Use a calculator, 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2 and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And then y1 is 12, so we're going to write 12 plus y2, which is 14. So 12 plus 14 is 26 and then 26 divided by 2 is 13 so now we have negative 1 and 13 what is the midpoint between negative 4 and 4 and negative 2 and 2 so we're going to replace x1 with negative 4 and then plus negative 2 so negative 4 plus negative, wait again, negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6 and negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 and then we're going to replace y1 with 4 so 4 plus y2 which is 2 4 plus 2 is 6 and then 6 divided by 2 is 3 so now we have negative 3 and 3. This point divides a line segment into two equal parts. So there is a point, or we can say a line. So a point that divides the line into two equal parts. Is it called midpoint, point, vertex, or segment? So again, we explained this before, if we have a line, there is always a point that divides it into two equal parts, and that is called the midpoint. We are all done, we got 100%. We got one answer incorrect, but we fixed it. So now we're done, thank you.